About a month ago, I made a video about a YouTuber called Pete Z or Pete Z. I don't know how to say that, that Z, 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 whatever. I get told off no matter how I pronounce it. But Pete Z is a YouTuber who claimed to have stolen a $100,000 luxury holiday by sneaking into a private pool, stealing a hotel cleaner's card to break into a room, and giving a random hotel room number to pay for his meals at an expensive restaurant. Now, I was fuming when I saw this video, mainly at the restaurant one, because it's like you're just getting a random person to pay for your meal. Like, there's actual consequences there for someone. But it turns out he most likely faked the entire thing and got exposed in a news article, which claims he just straight up paid for everything. Now, when you get called out for faking one video, it really calls into question the legitimacy of the rest of your videos. But he's back with a video called I Tested Strict Airport Rules, and I had to take a double take with that thumbnail. Surely he's lying. Surely he's not going to try and take a gun through airport security. Well, he did. Kinda. Not really, but sorta. You'll see. But this video as a whole is just pointless. I've never watched a more pointless video in my life. Like, no, of course you cannot get a gun through airport security. Like, what are you possibly testing? I'm sure there's people that have tested that before and got arrested. Like, you do not need to test the rule of if you can take a gun through airport security. Airports never used to be like this. People went through with no metal detectors, security dogs, or even 3D scanning systems. Yeah, I wonder why that changed. It's not like there was a, a massive world altering event or anything that changed aviation and travel forever. Passengers must be ready for immediate pickup or drop off. Fines apply. Lord, please protect this car from being towed. Holy crap. My theory is that rich people get away with absolutely everything. I mean, that's not really an unpopular opinion. Where did you get that theory from? I mean, yeah, I guess with some things, like rich people just get away with anything. But is a parking warden just going to walk past a Lamborghini, which is illegally parked, and go, oh, well, fuck it. Like, they're rich. I'll just, I'll just let them off on this one. <laughs> what are you on about? What are you possibly testing here? Of course it's going to get towed. Also, this is not a $500,000 car. If your mate who lent you this paid 500 grand for it, then they're a mug. But I'm going to try and find that exact model of car. Right, uh... Yeah, literally found a white Lamborghini Gallardo for £70,000 or less than US dollars In what universe is that a 500 grand car? Who are you trying to fool? I know nothing about cars and even I know that's not a 500 grand car. So I'm parking this $500,000 Lamborghini here and heading on an aeroplane where I'll be doing the things you're supposed to never ever do. Right, so it's a toy gun. It's not a real gun, but it's still an amazingly stupid thing to do because of course when it goes through the scanner and they see a gun-shaped object, they're going to pull it to the side. This is the master plan. Wait, what, what, what do you mean that's the master plan? That's a checklist. Making this should put you on the no-fly list because your master plan about going to an airport contains the word bomb and gun with check marks next to each word. Now the next <laughs> airport policy, there's a specific one that I think everyone, when they think, what are you not allowed to say when you enter into an airport? This guy's crazy. <laughs> between me and you, but I have a bomb on me. This poor guy, he's just wanted to have some time away from the grandkids and the wife. Like this is the first time in 30 years he's been able to go away on his own. He's booked a nice trip. He's looking forward to it. He's sat in the airport. What could go wrong? And he's got this freak going, good day, mate. I, I, I've got a bomb here. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow up. I've got a bomb here. I've got a bomb here. And that's an awful Australian accent. I'm sorry to all the Australians out there. <laughs> no, I have a candy. Ah! Ah, oh, that's so good, because it's a sweet, not a bomb, it's just a sweet, which is, is called a bomb. Oh, oh that's good. It kind of reminds me, do you remember, like, the, the uh, hood pranks back in the day, like, 10 years ago, when people would go up to, like, just random people and go, do you want to die? Do you want to die? And they'll go, you what? What? And then they'll go, oh, you, do, you want, do you want me to dye your hair? Do you want, do you want some hair dye? Let's raise the stakes. Oh, hello. Sorry? Oh, can I not walk through here? You cannot walk inside. This is a private area. Oh. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. Good thing that I'm a master of disguises. Oh, crap. <laughs> disguises. <clears throat> That's right. The next policy is to never, ever, ever impersonate a pilot. Didn't you've got a pilot costume that actually fit? <laughs> That. He looks like he's wearing his dad's clothes. Was there not a costume at the fancy dress shop that was a size smaller? If anything, just put your photo ID on it. There's my password. This has to be fake purely because it is such a shit costume. No real pilot uniform looks like this. I don't even know what to grab. 
Um, is this all? Is this all the food? Just this? Yeah, that's the hot food. All right. Okay. Thank you. Right, so you spent, I'd assume, a decent amount of money on a pilot costume. Actually, maybe not a decent amount. It's pretty shit. And you broke the cardinal rule about not impersonating a pilot in an airport just to go in a lounge, which would have probably cost you like 15, 20 quid to enter anyway. And like, all you did is, is pick up three beige items of food. If I'd have gone through all that effort and all that stress, I'd be rinsing that place. I don't think security's even onto us right now. Who is this person? This person has never appeared before. <laughs> My name. Your name. Mom. It's not it's not even like funny or clever. If you're really about it, just scream BOOM! No, joking, please don't do that. Don't don't scream bum in an airport. We're using chat GVT <laughs> to make a bomb song. Boom boom boom. <laughs> I've got some um some lyrics. Am I able to sing them to you real quick? Rap them. No. Just for one second. No. Boom boom boom. Like a bomb. I'm gonna explode. Boom boom boom. Hear the rhythm of the drum. <laughs> Again, boring. If you're really about it, just scream BOP! Which brings us to the next crazy policy you've all been waiting for. Crazy policy, as if it's like stupid that it's a thing. Oh, what? why can't I bring my semi-realistic looking toy gun onto a plane? For obvious reasons, Pete Zed. At this point, the gun is actually in my jacket. I mean, yeah, what did you expect to happen? Of course, it's gonna get pulled to the side. You have you have a gun-like object in your pocket. They're not just gonna ignore that. Why are you testing it? We've known this for years. You cannot take a gun onto an airplane. I know it's a toy gun, but on the scanner, it probably looks the same, if not similar. They're, of course, gonna pull it to one side. What are you testing here? What is the actual point of this? No one was on the edge of their seat being like, oh my God, I, w I wonder if it's going to get pulled to one side. Of course it's going to get pulled to one side. And this next method is exactly why we are better at finessing things than everybody else on YouTube. I mean, you're really not, are you, mate? Because if you were, you wouldn't be getting called out by news publications for fake your videos. Hey, let's have a seat or you get it for free. Company pays for this one, yeah. That literally did not help me. Why is he shirtless now? He's not been shirtless at any other point in this video. He's done a few cutbacks to like him sat in his bedroom, but he's always had like a t-shirt on. Why is he all of a sudden shirtless now? And just like that, we were taking off and made it happen. Nice reaction shot. Very powerful. This is a, this is a very motivating part of the video. I could feel it in my chest. You know when you see like a footballer score a sick goal and you're like, oh, you feel it in your chest. That's how I felt when I saw this reaction from him. <laughs> Worker is death staring me. I mean, they're probably not. They're not even looking at you. There's a chair between you and her. She's not even looking at you. She's probably looking at your camera because you have it out and you're filming yourself. And she's probably looking at her going, oh, I wonder, I wonder why he's filming himself. <laughs> she's not death staring you. These people aren't on high alert to try and kick you out of business class because you snuck into it. They probably don't even know you aren't supposed to be there. But in fairness, in fairness to Pete Zed, most of this video probably wasn't faked. It's just like a, a pointless video for the most part. Like, I don't know how he faked a lot of this stuff. I guess the business class one could be faked. He could have just bought a business class ticket. I don't think I showed much context for that bit, but he gave some gift cards to the cabin crew and like just sat down in business class. I reckon he did just buy a business class ticket there. But I don't think the rest of it's fake. Maybe the car one was. Maybe someone just drove off with it. Because I really don't even know what you're trying to test with the car one. Will it get towed if you illegally park it? Yes. It doesn't matter if it's a Lamborghini or a 20-year-old Corsa. It will get towed if you illegally park it. Like and subscribe.